Why, on this street, in this house, a man had come as a last resort because no one else would go near the place. I hear you've been expecting me. You are the... That's right. I am... The babysitter. Yes, yes, thank goodness you've got. My boy, I don't know what that's gotten into him. I've never seen anything like it. Trust me, buddy, I've got three little ogres at home. This will be a piece of cake. Look, I would tell you. I would try every trick in the book. You see. Once upon a time out? Oh, come on now. You're going to listen to a goose? Please, you, you don't understand. He's like he's a two different people. What your kid needs is discipline, not a bunch of psychological mumbo jumbo. You just got to walk in there, look him in the eye, and show him who. <laughs> Please tell me he's an only child. Here's your problem. His head's not screwed on right. When you wish upon a star, you get lots of stuff. Well, I wish for a nice quiet evening where you go to sleep and I'd raid the icebox. Okay. See? That was easy. It's like I always say, when it comes to good parenting, you have to be fair but firm. You just show them that you mean business, and he's out of bed again, isn't he? Well, you never have this problem with sock puppets. All right, what's this all about? Voices. Voices? Uh-huh, in here. Tell me what to do. You have voices inside your head. <laughs> Sometimes. And what kind of things do they tell you to do? <laughs> Do I look like the kind of guy that knows a lullaby? <laughs> lullaby on good night. Close your big creepy eyes. If you sleep, away I'll creep and get out of here alive. Uh, you know, once you get past all the splinters and rope burns, he's actually kind of cute. Now where did he go? Now there's something you don't see every day.